live your life so free I'm born to live and bound to die So we ride Just a spacer here? Or? Yeah, just spacer. Keep it tight so I won't move around on them. So you go hand trimmers, but it's a lot faster. Basically inside these boxes, the same thing you saw over there. There's multiple heads that go all the way through these. We're, it's almost like filling a mailbox. We have limited sizes that we're running through. The size that we cut the width, that size that we cut the length. We're going to go in and hit the mirror and right back over. Light them up, man. Thank <laughs> you. 
going through a minute ago in the mill was coming from up in here in the north end of the quarry. That's actually a sea green. Back behind it into the wall is the clear black that somebody was talking about earlier. It's an aggressive weathering clear black. You can actually see where we where the ladders are going up. It's already been air tracked. Um, and we'll take the whole side of that down probably Monday. If he's if he's gone that far that he's got them plugged, then he's ready, he'll fire that Monday. And he'll dump off the side of that. Um, we're doing a three-quarter inch project in Florida that will require quite a bit of that material. Um, but we'll come right straight across the top of that wall and get it as we go. Underneath it is a sea green as you go down and then you'll pick up the, the royal purples and then you'll come back into another sea green again. How far that way can you go yet? Uh, well again, there's a natural divider. We have another pit on the other side of it. So basically, you see where those white flints are coming in on the top? Mm -hmm. That's the actual slant that Sean and I are talking about. So that's going to be the end of the quarry. Behind that will be a shale bed for probably about 30, 40 yards. Then you pick up the butt of the next quarry, and then that's a different sea green and different royal purple. And actually, you'll hit another clear black over there, and that would be actually the clear black that uh, Pedro's always got. Yep. Same stuff. So how long have you been digging in this hole? 20 years. Yeah, exactly. Get him on the ladder and you get to that point, and I guess you scale the rest. Right about where you're standing, he's going to go back up again, drill it, and then he'll turn it this way. All he wants to do is pick it up and let it spin. That's all he's going to do. This whole section, all the way to the top, is going to come out. I'm going to guess it's probably going 12 feet. I'm not 100% there. Everything you see all the way to the top is going to roll. This is all loose already. Rolls on how big a hunk you take out of here. Maybe you have clear handle. Play this this stuff? This is clear black. Clear Vermont black. Yep. And when it's marketed, what's what's it called? Clear black. Clear black. Yep. It's a weathering clear black. Yep. This is different than the striated Vermont black that that would usually goes by Vermont black. Well, I'll take you over and I'll show you that quarter here in a second. We have one of our guys that'll do multiple deck shots. So he'll actually fire off the ways where he's taking the the overburden, the good stone, the overburden, the good stone, and he'll fire it, drop it. Take it up and then drop another one. And if you get it in slow motion, it's pretty cool to watch. It actually looks like the stone's rolling. And, if you, and then once in a while, the, the bed will lay down to look like a deck of cards laying down. And he'll be patting himself on the back telling you you meant to do that. <laughs> all, all these imperfections were caused by volcanic reactions and earthquakes that happened 200 million years ago. All that is is the garbage that filled into the cracks. That's all it is. And you were there then? I, you were old. I, I know. I,